My name is Keith Knutson. I'm a professor of immunology in the Department of Immunology here in Mayo Clinic, Jacksonville. And so this study that we're about to embark on is a rather large phase two clinical trial. And let me just provide a little bit of definition here with respect to what these trials are. So initially, when something moves from the laboratory bench into the clinic, it goes through what's called a phase one clinical trial. In a phase one clinical trial, we evaluate primarily the safety of the approach that we're using. In this case, we'll be using a vaccine. And in a phase two, we ask the first fundamental question at if the approach that we're using is linked to better outcomes in patients, which is what we're trying to achieve. achieve. So that's in general what we're trying to do. So the specific approach is a vaccine that we've developed for preventing recurrence in breast cancer. And specifically, we're interested in, in preventing recurrence in patients with a, that had, had a breast cancer called triple negative breast cancer. And this represents about 20% of uh, patients that are diagnosed annually with, uh, with uh, breast cancer. The issue with triple negative breast cancer is that it is very aggressive and many patients will relapse within the first five or six years following conventional treatments, so surgery, chemotherapy. And so what we want to do is intervene during that period between conventional therapy and when they relapse and see if we can boost the body's immune defenses to fight off that relapse. So the hope is that this large trial will enable the testing of a novel vaccine strategy, which hasn't made it into advanced clinical trials yet, to determine if we can impact the patients and prevent them from progressing with uh, their triple negative breast cancer. So we all know about vaccines. Vaccines have reduced mortality and morbidity with respect to a number of different diseases uh, worldwide. The burden uh, that infectious diseases had played previously is now greatly minimized as a result of vaccines. And we think we can do that with cancers using unique types of vaccines. So basically this is an interim clinical trial and it is going to give us the necessary information to go into a more advanced clinical trial. So we're not done with this trial. It's the next step in the progress on moving a new drug from the laboratory bench into routine clinical use. And so while we're going to enroll 280 patients and two thirds of those will get vaccine and will follow up for a number of years, that will enable us to design a broader study that we can do at the national level or international level in more patients to ascertain the improved survival that we may see with this vaccine. And so we'll be working closely with the FDA over these next five years to try to address the biologic question that we have, as well as develop a number of tests that will enable us to predict who would benefit from this vaccine. The Mayo Clinic has been instrumental in developing this program. We started this program back in, in 2005, essentially, which was at the time that I initially moved to the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And the, the advantages of doing this through the Mayo clinic system is the, the emphasis that Mayo has in, on patient care and not only current modalities of patient care, but also future up and coming. And so we've done a number of preclinical phase one trials with a number of different vaccines in both breast and ovarian cancer. And what makes this absolutely exciting is that we get to take it to the next step. This is where a lot of uh, different modalities, treatments, regimens, etc., just sit and flounder because typically the, that the approach is to rely on industry to take forward any of these new agents that may be developing. But what's exciting with this is it's an investigator initiated uh, clinical trial that is homegrown right here from Mayo. 
And that is a type of approach that is exciting because it moves us into a whole new arena where as a translational institution with respect to research, we will drive and, uh, and improve our capabilities of moving forward drugs that, or other types of therapies that we think would be beneficial and not for-profit companies which you know, have to make business decisions as well as uh, scientific decisions. What's important it, to remember with this kind of approach is that it may not just benefit breast cancer. So the particular antigens and vaccine formulations that we're composing would be applicable to a wide variety of cancers. So for example, we target a specific protein that is often found on triple negative breast cancers. But this protein is also found on other cancers as well. So there's the potential, we think, for preventing recurrence of other cancers as well, including ovarian and lung cancer.